Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode three of Smash It Up Melbourne here in beautiful downtown Swan Street, Richmond, here at home. Come to your live. Thanks to everyone for coming. Yay! Um, on tonight's show, we've got Helen Cadenac and also a mini set from Los Dominados. Uh, Charlie Barger shows his ass with Tonya Lee Davies. Uh, Fred Negro's here, we've got the quiz. And uh, let's introduce uh, tonight's special guest, uh, Glenn Gordon, better known as Flash. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. Uh, welcome, everybody. What a lovely night. What's um, your name? My name's uh, Flash. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we can save everybody. Uh, show number three, they said you never made it. I think that's me. I think my dad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Was that you that put that review on? No, I didn't put that review on. <laughs> No. Well, you know, when a flash usually would give you the award for the person that's come the furthest, but uh, you know, I think that still, I think reigning champion is still corny because you stayed overnight in uh, St Kilda last night. Oh, come on, give me a break. I'll, <laughs> I'll take it again. On your corny? I got the bus on Saturday. Well, yeah, but overnight, not the other <laughs> And Definitely. Corny's come all three weeks, so on your corny. Great to see you again. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Ruby. So, how's your week been? Week's been good. Week's been big. Um, great night the other night. We're going to see uh, Helen and Co. Uh, they played a fantastic gig at the live there last Saturday night. Yes, yeah, it was Saturday night, wasn't it? Lost yeah. of and uh, the fiction killed one up. Oh, they absolutely did. It was a, a fantastic night. So, um, and that night we did drink all the beers. I think me and you were there, little stumps. Told you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to come home with all right Pete, so it was definitely a late night. <laughs> <laughs> When I say home, I mean up uh, Fitzroy Street. <laughs> well, it's great to have you on here. Great to be here, Chief. And uh, Fred Negro's here on your friend. Hi. So, being the mayor of St Kilda, I thought it's about about time you had a bit of you know bling and fanfare going around. So, here's the mayor of St Kilda's fanfare. <laughs> Fred, what's been happening? Oh, I've been uh, painting a, a portrait of, uh, uh, what's his name? Malcolm Young. Oh, yeah. ACDC. It's a, yeah. It's a, it's a, I paid me to do that for a friend of theirs because they, he once had a, a guitar shop in Sydney and uh, he once fixed, but Malcolm Young came in and said, my Gretch, my Gretch is, uh, is fucked and uh, I need to play tonight. Can you fix it? And he did. So I've been commissioned to paint him playing that guitar. And the guy in the audience who fixed it to be uh, fixing another guitar. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah, everyone's on drugs. Mel Young was the unsung hero of ACDC. Yeah. Fantastic. He's rock solid. Best guitar. Handsome? Yeah, they're all handsome. ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, what's been happening with your life? Yeah, I've been uh, working on this album for about three years. Oh, yeah. 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 Fantastic. Nice. Oh. Yeah, I did it, Jeff. Why oh, that hairy? You knew that hairy. Here's a Jeff. Oh, oh. Show the people around. Profile. <laughs> well, I'm on your you don't see them. Now I'm going to draw hell. That's fantastic. Well, let the bear the, the cat of the back, Frank. Uh, please welcome to our special guest, mm. Alan Canna. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to attempt to play this really, really really old song. Um, it was the uh, first Mola song we ever recorded, which actually got erased as soon as we recorded it and we had to do it again. But anyway, here it is, it's called Like My Dog. <laughs> Sort of smile, I think I like you. You 
got the same face when you wag your tail, it's true. You don't say much, you just fuck a lot, I think I like you. Stay with me, by my side, you're my pal. I see us three so happy. I see us three so very happy. She's always so cool, she loves to play a lot. I think you'll like her. She always remembers these little things, it's true. She loves a lot, she never complains. I think you'll like her. She loves life, she's got a great attitude. She's just like you. You look like my dog, you got the same kind of smile, I think I like you. You got the same face when you wag your tail, it's true. You don't say much, you just bark a lot, I think I like you. Stay with me, by my side, you're my pet. She's always so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Give it up for Hellcat. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for that, Hellcat. That was beautiful. Thanks. Didn't get to practice that very much, but um, well, yeah, the first ever, it was um, fun. First ever mold song you guys recorded. Yeah, at Birdland Studios, and we we're like so excited. It's going to be the first single, and we recorded five songs in a row. Okay, listen back. Where's the first song? Uh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, we have to go back and do it again. But um, yeah, it didn't end up being the single. Well, very glad you shared that tonight. <laughs> so, um, uh, 2018, uh, Mola for the 20th anniversary are reformed. Um, how did that come about? And that, what was that like uh, getting the band back together? Um, well, we have been asked a few times to play together on various occasions, and I'm always like, no, 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 hate reunions, you know. But um, I guess as you get older, you kind of look back and think, you know, we're all here at the moment, so let's make the most of it while we're still kicking on. So, yeah, why not have a party? So I was reading on that band, um, uh, Essendon, Essendon Airport. Um, they had a bit of a reissue a couple of years ago and there was talk about them reforming, but um, they got back together in the rehearsal room. They thought, nah, the magic's not there. So uh, 
What was it like with you guys back together? Did you just gel straight away? Um, well, the guitarist, uh, he lives in Indonesia, so um, it was me and the drummer re rehearsing, so that was really <laughs> easy. He was like, you know, just banging the tubs and I'm trying to remember the words and the riffs and yeah, he's a um, great character, so it was lots of fun. And then when the guitarist came, oh my God, have you got any strings? We got a pick. We got some batteries. Yes, yes, yes. I need a new panel. <laughs> yeah. So no, it was good. It was good to get back together, and then like, yeah, it was very. Um, Julian was very gung ho into like, let's jump into the studio. We got no songs, but we'll go in and see what we come up with. What went wrong? <laughs> yeah. So we yeah we released a single, and then um, yeah, got a few other tracks done but not finished or released yet. Fantastic. Uh, any um, uh, release date in mind? Or? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Okay. Someone sorts it. Nah, of <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of like, okay, stop, rethink. Yeah, so, but. You originally started out as, your name was Snuff, the band. Yes. Any particular reason you didn't stay with that? Um, oh, everyone kept saying, oh, there's a uh, band in England called Snuff, and then sure reason. enough, yeah, there's a band called Snuff, okay, we better change. And then there was the Snuff puppets as well, and so we spent a long time with um, Tim Swampy over there, you know, um, figuring out band names and, yeah, Mola kind of stuck. Yeah. And uh, you guys uh, were on a subsidy of um, Mushroom Records. Yes, Infectious Records, one of their labels, yeah. How did that come about? Um, gosh, I think it came about from, we did a EP with Snuff, and then we, you know, sent it to the radio stations, and Billy Walsh from the Psychos ah, really liked it, and he handed it to Steve Cross, who was just starting Ooh. talks with Gadinsky, and yeah. It just happened after like the third show or something. We're like, yes! <laughs> no, it was really good. Good fun. Fantastic. And how was it dealing with Michael and Mushroom? Oh, I did some embarrassing things, I think. Like, <laughs> tell, 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 tell. Yeah, do tell, do tell. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> uh, well, well, one thing I do remember was uh, he had that. Um, nightclub in the Crown Casino, what was that called again? The Mercury Lounge. Yeah, the Mercury Lounge, opening night. <laughs> Brand new like VIP room and stuff and up there and it was when you could smoke indoors and I'm like, yeah, great right, place, Michael. Is. And I just stubbed my cigarette out in front of him on his brand new carpet and I was like, Whoa, what did uh, I do? That's fucking wrong. <laughs> I was just ruined the carpet. Anyway, but yeah. There's plenty of others, but that's fun. <laughs> um, Tim sent me an article before. Um, it was uh, something from your past. Da -da -da. It was a bit of an interview with um, you and the Herald Sun. Oh, yeah? And um, basically you were saying that with all the bands you do, and you sort of play a bit of a character, you sort of evolve in each one. It's not just the same sort of personality, different personality for each band. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like I am um, not myself, but I... You know, a little bit of someone else or a persona. Otherwise, I'd just be like a real shy mouse in the corner or something. Yeah, yeah Maddie Mouse is not, <laughs> not my real name, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Surely it is. <laughs> um, the uh, the gig on Saturday night. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. I was um, surprised because I hadn't been to the. Liabird yeah. Lounge for a long time. Um, Los Dominados, my current band, um, did a CD launch a couple of years ago there. We had a great night and our friends were like, wow, this bar is fantastic and I knew about it. And then unfortunately it closed. Was it before COVID? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah well, so, before I'm going to reopen. Yeah, I don't know. All, all the ins and outs, but um, it was really great to see. It was packed, yeah, like well, full of people and lots of familiar faces. And yeah, I was really surprised and happy. It was good. Excellent. And it sounded great. It did, it did sound great. I remember yeah. before I used to nearly electrocute myself on the microphone <laughs> sometimes. So that didn't happen. That was good. 
And uh, I saw you a couple of weeks ago at uh, Gershwin Room. You uh, belted out uh, Living in the 70s, a part of um, Epic Brass, which oh, is fantastic. Right. Yeah, that was terrifying but so much fun because you know like all my heroes are up there and of course Jack Howard the trumpet player he um, gives me the most wordy nonsensical kind of songs to sing but oh I just could barely remember any of the words I think I stuffed up the first line straight away but um yeah it was fantastic really good fun and it sounded amazing all the, all the people that played and the horns. And then we got Jack to play on the Los Dominados new single. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited when Mike and I, when we got the files back, because you know, we sent the song to him and he sent it back with the stuff. And at first he did it to our demo instead of the actual recording, but then um, he sent it back and yeah, we we're jumping out of our skin. It was so fantastic. <laughs> He's a plug in trust, Jack. Ah, oh, yeah. And when's really the single? Oh, we're hoping and praying maybe in a couple of months. Oh, hoping, if, uh, providing all the artwork happens and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it'll be mastered in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Oh, beautiful stuff. Got that look forward to. Yeah. And uh, of course, I'm wearing the um the shirt. Um, SPJ. SPJ. Um, yes. Because you play in uh, your tr crucial part of the escape committee. Um, what were your memories of uh, the great man? What are my memories? Oh, not many. <laughs> no. Um, I remember, well, one of my fondest memories was learning uh, Friday on my mind and playing it on guitar from go to woe for Spencer in Adelaide when, at the hotel and he was singing it and I was playing it and, and he was like amazed that I could play it because it's not easy. <laughs> And um, yeah, that was a fond memory, but yeah, lots of late night chats with, and you know, the, he knows everyone all over Australia, all over the world as well. I mean, I only toured with him once overseas in Europe, but yeah, he was well respected and good fun. We had um, Marty Bolton on for the first two episodes. We did a bit of a listening post segment while we were listening to him, and he pulled out um, uh, Sobering Thoughts, which uh, for me was a, uh, one of the best Australian albums of the last 10 years. Oh, cool. Top five, easy. Wow. Great album, that. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what's on it. <laughs> uh, we're going to do Change Your Mind, Faith. Oh, There's yeah. the cover oh, of um, Dancing Barefoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was that was a dark time in his life. I, it was a difficult time. Yeah, the song's are sort of the, you can tell that from the songwriting, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even, yeah. But what an amazing, beautiful document. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm surprised that he managed to pull through that, but um, yeah, he did. No, good on you, on you, Jazzy. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So you guys are going to go and do another couple of songs for us, I believe? Yeah, we're going to do a Spencer song that um, we recorded for Spencer P. Jones' tribute album that's hopefully coming out soon. It's been a while in the production. But I've heard then, stories about that. Like apparently it's like about three vinyl. There's about like three to seven uh, of the material. Yeah, and like heaps of amazing artists on it. And we're, I think we're still on it, us little Los Dominados. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing the finished product soon. Yeah. And um, aside from that, um, anything? And aside from that, and the Los Dominados single, um, anything else on the horizon? Any gigs we should be aware of? Um, nothing coming up at the moment. But working on it. working on a launch actually St Kilda Way probably. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Well Hellcat, it's been an absolute pleasure to um, thank you for joining us in tonight's show. Thank you for having me. No, so much fun. Cheers, thanks. Now, please welcome Lost It's been a while since I played this one too, so forgive the lyrical mistakes. Take it away, Mikey. News for you.
Spencer, I miss you. All right, then we're going to do an early Los Dominados song. It's called Venus.
us back to that beautiful song. And I'll be sure to pull away on the show for another show. Uh, let's see what friend Viv are up to. Well, that's a picture of you and um, Flash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Flash? Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's a picture of that. Uh, I've got Flash. My God, it's nice. Awesome. Fantastic. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh. I love it. Cool. So, uh, so Charlie and uh, Tony Lee Davies are going to come on a second and do Shows Your Arts, but, but uh, we should ask an art question. Jeez, uh, what's your favourite uh, television spin off series? Well, you just put this on me a minute ago. So yes, well. I asked hard questions. <laughs> um, oh, that's a hard one. And I just went. More community. I suggest oh, Frasier. Yeah, 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 Well, uh, uh, Maddie said you've got to say Frasier. No, I said that was a suggestion. I didn't say you should say well, Frasier. Simpson. You know, from, from the thing in the. The, the Tracy Ormond. Yeah. Uh, mine's uh, Beverly Hills Bunce, which was a spin off from Hill Street Blues, which uh, fucking. Uh, what's his name? Sibowitz. Oh, Sibylls. Yes. <laughs> that feels what? Buns. Right. It is a show. Most of them, yeah. We've had dinner calls all. And then uh, let's bring on Show Us Your Arts with Charlie Barker and a special guest. Yeah. 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 Hi, everybody. So this week I have uh, country soul pop singer songwriter Tony Lee Davies on board with me. Yeah. yeah. And that's how you know her. Singer songwriter, but you have another hat, which is what we need to talk about, which is your art. My art. Now, I had a look when Charlie asked me to do this, I thought I'd better look when I started to make these collages, and it's actually 2013, which is longer. I didn't realize it was that quite. Anyway, I found these little 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter squares, you know, like snow don't just shoot them up and there's glitter in them. And I started to make everything with 10 by 10, and I look back now and I think, oh my God, how did I do that? It was like it was tiny. Anyway, of course I don't have, I've got one. This was my first, what do you call it? Breaking the, the in theatre, what do you call that? The fourth, fourth wall? wall Thank you. I did that. And that is actually Margot Fontaine, the ballet dancer. Oh. And she was like this, right? And a guy was holding her up. Oh, yeah. And I put her on her side and I put her in the ocean. Oh, oh, and I so got her Atlantis Morissette. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's fun eye. So where did you get the inspiration to start doing that? So we have been doing it for oh, like eight I, years. I, you know what? I was trying to think that I... I painted and drawn and, and I don't know, I, I kind of enjoyed it but there was some, it was never fully satisfying and and I loved these images that I could see but I didn't know how to paint and draw them so I started chopping stuff up and putting them together and I liked the idea of taking particular like for example here's another one, this is Eve before the apple, get it? Before she bit the apple she thought innocent oh. um, and Close she's on. like um, she was never evil. No, she wasn't. She just wasn't. But that she... serpent was important. <laughs> but, um, so, so I decided to put these... Pe and all I should say that most of my um, images of, of women, I have I've got the, one of the two images I've ever made with a bloke is coming up. And um, they're all sort of floral and they're... I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're... What did you do for me? They're all paper and they're all cut out. So oh, yeah. that, when it's not on the board, is kind oh, of like a little piece of lace oh, or something. Oh, and I have a little scalpel. You use scissors? I use scissors and a scalpel. Oh, so I was you use a scalpel. It take, well, they're all individual. Like, that's all little tiny bits, and I made some of the flowers. They're it not looks like... really Japanese. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and have you ever sold we... any? Yes, I have. Yes, we're getting to. I have, and I you can buy these tonight. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> oh, that's great. Oh my um, god! Here's, here's, here is I can't remember what I called them, but the quote the quote was um, Torval and Dean before they discovered ice. And um, <laughs> so <laughs> these little suckers, you know, like they took forever to chop out all these little guys. Mm. So there you go. So, that's so when you do that, do you have a vision of what it's going to look oh like before you start chopping oh, it? Or chop, do you get your heroin and then? I get my heroin on my, yeah, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> and um, and then I start getting finding the flowers. And that's actually the really tricky bit because that, you know, I, I don't glue anything until I've decided exactly how I want it to look. 
So it's looking like that on a, you know, but not glued down, and then it's really scary gluing. So the, yeah. where do you source? So without giving away trade secrets, I can't tell you. This all old. I can't tell you. Oh, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a little hint. This is one. I thought I'd bring this along. So that's like a, the girl I'm going to use next. And let's just say she's I from, a, that was from another Curtis. time. <laughs> In a dress. They're all vintage <laughs> stuff, I'll say that much. Vintage magazines. Different things, so yeah. So I've noticed that you, you've put that, you use your art for, you've done it for album cover, single. Good segue. <laughs> the cover, I give you, ladies and gentlemen, the cover of the duetting damsel. Yes. Oh. And this is Juliet. This is Margot Fontaine again. And I said about Juliet that she courted 14 men because there were 14 duets of me with 14 different guys. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so there she is. And I will tell you something about this. You can't see it, but behind that is a dinosaur because it was from a book, a kid's book, and it had a dinosaur in the background. But you, you, you never, it doesn't matter how hard you look, you won't see it because it's covered up I with cactus. I can feel it. You can feel it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... Where should we go for it? Here. Well, I was going to say, so you've... So actually, I was going to talk about... Yeah. There's a whole other side of this that people don't think about because, well, I was going to segue there mm. to the detail, yeah. is that, okay, so you create that work and then if you actually want to share it and, and print from that and yeah. get it out to people, that's like learning a whole different skill oh, in yeah. itself to be able to get that to print okay. So want to yeah. buy it, basically. Yeah. Otherwise, there's not money yeah, they're dark, not which the same is, colours, are they? No, it's really hard. Charlie knows more about that stuff than I do. And then getting it, so which is where, so moving on to something like the tea towel, which you've done, and also the cushion covers, you're then dealing with a whole different medium, and then you've got to work out how you're going to put it, how it's going to work, and not... So that one there is Jean, and she's the image I made of my new single, which is called Kiss Someone, and she's looking a little bit sad because she needs to kiss someone. And... um. But yeah, the I should have bought and she's the. She's in the fifties, and feminism hasn't happened yet. Wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> they still want to kiss someone? Yep. <laughs> I think so. Everybody wants to kiss somebody <laughs> at some point. Um, I think. And anyway, yeah, all these little flowers that took forever. Oh my god, that's so hair raising. Alien. Is it? There's that's okay. Very. 50s Australian. Wow. About, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like. That would make my mum melt. Well, you, could, would, buy, you could buy one and take one home for your mum because oh. I happen to have yes. stock. <laughs> so when you started doing them, was there yeah. a look? Did you find the look just happened no. straight away? Or you were doing a whole bunch of different things? And then yeah, no, they the were different. Things. And they change all the time. Like, I mean, I tried to bring a variety, but the 10 by 10s were interesting because, like I said, I only had a certain amount of space to work in. And so, and often when I very first started, I'd use a photograph that I'd taken as the background and then put the image of the, the person and then the floral thing around it and, yeah. And then they just change. It's like I'm working on one at the moment that's uh, a lady wearing a, a cardigan from a knitting magazine and she's sort of like this and, yeah. So it she just doesn't depends. get to keep it. She doesn't get to keep the cardigan. <laughs> So when you first started doing it, what oh, let's show them if you hold that one up. What was the um, what was the reason behind? Like, what was your motivation? I don't. Was I was trying or? to remember. So that's that Jane, and this is the Jane Tea Towel. So there you go. Maybe you can name them all. Oh, Just that's what I love doing. I love giving them names, She's little stories. And um, Jane has never felt so exotic. Is the title of that one, and um. I don't know, Charlie. I've thought about it. I don't know. I was, I was kind of writing a lot of music as well at the time, and somehow I ended up making these these um, pictures. It's my it just sort of happened. Oh, that's Gina. Everyone Ooh, loves Gina. Oh, pushing oh. cover. And there's a Gina tea towel somewhere. Yeah. I'm so glad you didn't make that glue. Glue. Um, you know, like she looks like the. Really? Oh, does she? Oh. So this is really? a background that I got, and I put Gina in it, and I cut all this stuff out, and I cut all those you out. actually know. No, no, I like, just give them all names. I name them all because that's part of their little character, and it's part of the, you know, like that's. I said that's Eve. There's Alanis Morissette. No, 
Well, Atlantis and Mars, but, but anyway, Juliet, that's Juliet. Um, oh, and here's Eleanor. Oh, Eleanor. Oh, my God. So, so Where are you heading from here artistically? Have you got a plan of what, to see yourself doing this? Oh, or are you going to do the same thing on more mediums? Or? Um, I think I'm just going to keep making collages. I love it. I love making them. And, you know, I don't know. The whole world's a bit crazy right now, isn't it? So I don't know. I just think make art, make something, be make something beautiful and put it out there because what else are you going to do? It's just too scary. It's too scary. Yeah. And is that what inspired you to do these during COVID? Was that when you walked down to me? I did. I stuff? did make a lot during COVID. Yeah. I did make a lot. Yeah, I made a lot, and I wrote a lot of good songs too. And that so your latest single, which is. Kiss someone, someone. <laughs> which you did the artwork for that. Which is Jean. You also made the video for that. So I did. So is that something that you're going to keep doing? And we doing? showed it here. Yeah, I've got another single. I think you may have been in that very clip, Charlie. <laughs> That's not why I mentioned it. Sure you was. But uh, are you going to then move into maybe more visual yeah. movie stuff? Oh, you know what? Somebody said that to me. Someone tried to ter talk me into, which I'm too scared to do. They said, you know what you should do, for example, with this is, you know, take, what do they call it, stop motion mm. stuff? So you take mm. photos every... <coughs> I just, I've had an anxiety attack just yeah. thinking about it. But if... Um, someone, I, else someone else could do it. Someone else could do it. I like the idea because you could make a great little video clip with it, couldn't you? Well, you could, yeah, start incorporating that, yeah. that feel. I in. made, um... No, I didn't. Was that to lie? <laughs> 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 I was something like that, but it's not the same. It wasn't the same. So, the question is, do you do work on commission so people can buy your Oh, yeah, I do. Details? I have done some commission. Yeah. Commission colours. Yeah, I have. Yeah. And if people want to um, do the commission cover. you to do something. <laughs> a doona cover, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Imagine yeah. having Juliet on your doona. Yeah. Oh, you could stick someone, a mail in there as well. Yeah. Um, TanyaLeeDavies.com. Oh, there is a Y. Like, with a Y, Tanya. That would be so beautiful. Like Those Liza would have been. Not Lisa, isn't it? Three color, like they were screen curtains. Oh, yeah. 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 And I'd like to, I think lamps could be interesting. Someone suggested that. But these are all, you know, I need yeah. a benefactor if I'm going to do that kind of thing. T-shirts? <laughs> Some of them would work on T-shirts personally. I don't think, I think the only ones that have worked on T-shirts myself are the ones like this that have the white background. Yeah. Do you know? I don't, I don't think the block, the block ones would work. But I wouldn't, I'm not adverse to it. But I've tried to find a decent T-shirt. It's quite hard to find a, you know, something that's a bit. So do you feel like you, are you the balance between so your music and your art, for one of a better mm. collage work, mm. is that an equal balance, or music's the driver, and this is something that supplements the? I tell you what's interesting. I I am way more relaxed about this than I am about my music. I'm like I've noticed I have a, a, a detachment about that that is sort of makes it more enjoyable. Like I'm really not attached to it. That's when I say I'm not attached, it. I care about it, I love it, but I don't know. get hung up about it. Whereas, you know, when I write a song or put something out, it's like, are they going to like it? Are they going to like me? Does it, you know, I, yeah, I feel so way more personal. Do you like I mean, I'd like them to like it, but um, oh, uh, there's something different. I mean, but it's the same. Look, I'd like people to like my music, but I understand that not everybody's going to, and that's okay. But what I just, I have, for some reason, I have much more of a personal attachment to the outcome yeah. of when I'm making music. I, I'm, I'm more desperate for your love. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm way more desperate for your love. If you want your love, go to tanyaleedadies.com. And you're also on Instagram too, aren't you? Yeah, you TLD fun? International. <laughs> That was obviously a post-COVID issue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, giving up the challenge, on you? Yeah. And uh, speaking of which, um, Freddie's just an amazing drawing. I thought oh, it's beautiful, Tonya. Want to show it to the audience, Fred? Yeah, okay.
Now, um, in lieu of um, our listening post segment, um, we've got Gigi here, and uh, I'll oh, flash. Ah. 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 <laughs> so, um, you know, as several people in this room are members of Book Club, uh, whenever something goes wrong, we refer to it as gate, you know, a chip gate and a um, toothpick gate were particular favourites of mine, but I think the gate of gates was REM gate, and I'm oh, just going to let gate. Uh, flash gate. take up the story from there. <laughs> Gate of Gates. Gate Gate. Gate Gate. I'm a huge R.E.M. fan, have been forever. And um, there was a, a gig at the Palais a couple of years ago where um, a whole bunch of legendary Australian musicians were getting up and playing the early years. So from the first album to the, till it went shit, really. Um, which was after Green, I think. Uh, and I got tickets really early and was fifth row and, you know, it was at a wonderful big building in St Kilda, I won't use the name. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's majority rules, you know, if, if you want to go to a gig and get up and have a great time and you're the only one out of two and a half thousand people, you're not allowed. So, uh, first song in, which I think was uh, Pop Song 89, um, I was up. And, uh, and dance and have a great time. And I got to know the Usher uh, soon after that, a couple of times. Um, and ultimately, the Usher said, you sting me. So at the back of this particular theatre, there are three rows that they never sell uh, for people that can't sit down and want to have a good time or misbehave, which is where you want to go about it. Uh, and funny enough, I bought my son and my ex-wife a ticket to the same gig and they were somewhere else in the theatre and they got sin binned as well. Um, <laughs> so, hilariously, at the intermission, um, no one had got it up and danced, which was you know, a bit sad, really. Uh, and we all went outside. Uh, Bernie Two Legs, who I'd you know, kind of taken along, um, he caught up with a friend outside, uh, the butcher, or so you may, may know him. Uh, and um, the butcher proceeded to go and sit in my seat in the fifth fucking row, which was uh, a little bit annoying while I was still sitting right up the back. And I think the worst part of it was the only time the crowd actually got up, this is my favourite part of the story, was when Jeff Martin from the Tea Party, I believe it was, um, got up and sang Everybody Hurts. Now, I mean, if you know that song, <laughs> it's not really a rocker, no. uh, but the whole palette, uh, the whole theatre was, um, was fun <laughs> and having a great time, swaying in the breeze and doing everything else. So, um, you know, note to self, if you are going to that particular theatre, I don't know, rally people out the front to get them up and get them going or, or just wing it and get singing. It's entirely up to you. It was good fun. Well, I suppose a bit of an epilogue to that story is that um, a couple weeks later I was given a ticket to a cheap trick. Uh, double tick and I thought, who am I going to take? And Jeej walked in and I was like, uh, considering it was the same venue, and then, you know, I'm just sitting on, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat like, oh my god, what's going to happen? What's going to hear the drums? And then the curtains closed, everyone stood up, I'm like, oh my god. Oh. It was that sort of yeah, cheap trip, exactly right. That was a great gig. Fantastic, one of my favourite gigs of all time. All right, uh, Lost and Manonis are ready, so they're going to do another song for us. Please get up for Lost and Manonis. <laughs> This is a new song, it's called Cry.
Your eyes are dry, just cry. Second, but uh, thanks to everyone for coming tonight. So it's uh, thanks you came out at a missed budget night. I know you're spewing about that. It's always working families and uh, small business, uh, I don't know, things that I aren't. So you know, exactly. I just wonder how much cigarettes are going to go up this time. Josh is going to be on horn half from 11, so it's good. Now, the way cigarettes are going up, I'll give up. I think about food the way cigarettes are going up. Yeah, they're, um, they're not going down, are they? No, they go up every month. Seems like it, it does. It does. They're very cheap in Timor, I think. Oh. Right. <laughs> well, I don't fly, so that's a. That's after you get your tumour. Mm. You go to Timor. Right. Now it's time for my favourite segment, because it means I get to go to the bar. The quiz. Yay! Yay. 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 Cheers. Are you ready, Freddy? I'm ready. Go, Fred. The Mayor of St Kilda, everybody, give him a big hand. Yay. Yeah. See you, my friend. Is that your father? Excellent. All right, we're playing the prize is the molar. Oh, mini CD. Oh, oh, hey. oh. So uh, I'm taking scores this time anyway. So it's, uh, <laughs> okay. First scores. question. Who did say the rules? Yeah. Everyone knows the rules. Okay. That's quiz. <laughs> okay, ready to go, guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what recently sold for $9.48 million? Uh, uh, the Port of Darwin? <laughs> <laughs> no idea, have you? It was a, it was a British Guana one cent magenta stamp. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Okay, well, there you go, eh? <laughs> <laughs> In Pulp Fiction, what was the name of the guy who owned the chopper that Bruce Willis drove off with? Drove off with Zed. Zed, and he is dead apparently. Zed's dead. Rhyming slang. What would I re be referring to if I said that person has a breach's part in the theatrical play? A breach's part. 
that would be a transgender role as in the pantomime industry. Is that correct? Correct. Oh, oh, what time did you guys meet up this afternoon? In 1981, in 1981, Sorry. which cricket team spat the dummy by throwing his bat on the ground and refusing to hit the ball? <laughs> hey, that was 81. Dennis, 81. 81. Dennis 81, Lilly, yeah. the aluminium bat incident. No, it was in New Zealand. Oh, it was New Zealand versus uh, oh. Australia with the underarm ball. Yeah. Underarm. Thank no, you very much. Refused to hit the ball. I can oh. Oh. And you were thinking, Joe. I'll give that one to you, Flash. I'm so humiliated. Give it to me. I got the wrong answer. <laughs> Flash, then for it. It's a sporting question, Fred. Give it to me, Fred. Yeah, he hates losing. Which musician walked into a recording studio where his ex band was recording, wearing tracksuit pants up around his armpits, with a shaved head and eyebrows, with a toothbrush in his hand, and stood there and jumped up and down on the spot while brushing his teeth? Oh, um, 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 um. Ah. Halfway there, the, the guy who was in Pink Floyd and got stoned for five years. I'll give you that one. Yeah, yeah Sid I Barrett. That Sid one. Barrett. Yeah. Hey, technical problem. Saucer full of secrets is great. Leave him alone. Sorry, I could, it's Sid with a Y. There you go. Yes. Different, yes. Which famous duet sang the song Hey Paula? Uh, uh, hang on. Oh. Yep. Ernie Sigley and oh. Ding Dong. Correct. No, correct. Oh. That reminds me of the Rosemary Margan years, right? Rosemary Margan used to do the Val Morgan ads at the cinema. I thought you said she was... I thought you were about to say she's going to give you something else. Oh, no, no, but I, Denise Drysdale, she worked in a chicken shop Viv, in Richmond. your brother Mick used to sell Val Morgan advertising. How are you going? Yeah, so there's, there's a trivia. But I trivia. don't really remember that. I hated Val Morgan. Neither should you. <laughs> I don't think he was proud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question seven. How many mads are there in the movie title? Oh. It's a mad, 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 mad world. Eight. Oh. Seven. Lower. Six. <laughs> Lower. Five. That's six. Lower. Yeah. Four. Four. Correct. <laughs> uh, hang on. I think it's six. No, 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 it's a mad, 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 bad world. Hey, no, it's more than that. Mad, 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 bad world. Who's quizzing that? Mad, mad, bad, 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 bad world. Mad, bad world. Yeah, mad, mad world. I said four, five, and six, so thanks. What about if you got a, if you got a stutter? How many? <laughs> which movie line? In, yeah, sorry. Which movie was the line? I may be blind, but I'm an acute eerie. Said. <laughs> Oh. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. No. 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 <laughs> it's not my rig. Is, is, it the the on, the the one. is it the On the Buses movie? Uh, no. Oh. It's Yellow Beard. Oh. Yellow, Yellow Beard. Beard. Oh. Yellow Beard. Oh. Oh. He was a blind guy. Oh. Remember that? Yellow Beard? Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, it hasn't been. Great one. Yeah. Great movie. Sensational movie. <laughs> no memory. Is that one of your favourites? I got them all last week. <laughs> <laughs> it did look like yellow. So I'll give that to who was that point? That was me. Okay, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question nine. Which famous rock star got up on stage with Bon Jo and U2 to a stadium packed crowd and at first was so timid the rock star was almost hugging Bonjo, but by the end of the uh, the, the song, Who's the person Bonjo? had to... Bono. Oh. <laughs> by the end of the, the song... Bonjo. By the end of the song, had taken over the stage and was having a ball. Uh, Prince. Liza Minnelli. Jarvis Cocker. Ah, uh, no. no. Close. <laughs> William Shatner. No. <laughs> William Shatner's pants. Close, close. Was it a Gallagher? <laughs> it was Patty Smith. Oh, oh, she doesn't. Yeah, she sung Gloria oh, and People Had the Power. But the difficult questions. Not really. Not if you wrote it. 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 Security. Hey? Have you got a who am I? I've got a who am I. Five points. In 1961, a famous celebrity and several others were lost at sea. 
Four points. There was also a famous movie star on the boat. Gilligan's Island. Correct. Oh, <laughs> It was Gillingham. Ah. <laughs> did you, Pete, did you prefer Ginger or Mary Ann on that one, mate? You could get points for singing the song. It was probably Mary Ann, I reckon. You're a bit of a Mary Ann? I think you're a Pete Jones involved, right? Oh, you should sing it. Yeah. So I think, um, I think Freddie won. I think Freddie has won. The Mary's a killer, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, not your Freddie. You can put it on my phone. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'll bring you Harry Crutch. Fred! Fred won. Hooray for winning! On you, Pete, and on you, those contestants for that quiz. Uh, they got the Denise Drysdale and uh, Eddie Sigley reference. I don't know why, but I've got a VHS of um, like their 100th episode together, and it's from Pentridge. I'd like to think if we ever do 100 episodes, we do something like that, you know. Yeah. Kentridge. Yeah. There was another one. There's another one where Denise Drysdale was doing uh, home movies of her um, family trip to Disneyland. It was a ripping television, you know. They don't make that anymore. Bella. Yeah. <laughs> well, that about does it for episode three of Smash Up Melbourne. Just want to say a quick thank you. Thanks to Steve on the knobs and the sound. <laughs> Thanks to Camilla at the front and uh, Simone behind the bar. Yeah. Thanks to Bernie. Yeah. Yeah. Bernie, what's, what's coming up this weekend? Oh, I don't have a And, um, yeah, no, uh, we've got a lot happening. Um, Thank you uh, for that question. Um, we got Van Walker's residence, residency continuing Friday night. And also the world's greatest Cuban double bass player, Union Terry, playing Saturday night with his band, The Undercurrents. And, uh, and, more, yeah. oh, and this Wednesday night, tomorrow night, the Museum of Living Art, our burlesque night. Yeah. Yeah. There's just a couple of that little tent like pebbles. <laughs> On your burn. Mm -hmm. uh, just want to also thanks to the Ransom for all his help with the website. Uh, speaking yeah. of which, uh, look after the website, smashupmelbourne.com and the Facebook and the Instagram. Uh, thanks to Amy for the amazing poster behind you. Thanks, thanks to Viv and Fred for coming and the drawing. Yeah. Uh, Pete for the quiz and putting this all together. And Jeff for Viking, thanks for coming. Yeah. 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 See you again, man. Not worthy. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> thanks to Lost Dominatos for that amazing set. Yeah. And thanks for coming along, Helen, having a chat and all that. Ah, oh, it's a pleasure. It's um, always a challenge to play acoustic, but yeah. That was fantastic. Was I loved it. Thank you. And on you to the flash, man. Oh. 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 And thank you to Monster. You yeah. 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 Uh, so I said, uh, keep, keep, uh, look at the Facebook, the Instagram, the website to see what's happening. Uh, if we're on next Tuesday, I'd say see you next Tuesday. But um, until then, I'll just say see you soon. On you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.